Now, this is a very special episode because a lot of you guys have uh, requested me to speak about this. A lot of you guys, um, when, I, when I did this poll on Instagram, a lot of you guys said that you want me uh, to speak about this. And the topic for today's show is going to be the art of getting shit done. Okay. Now, so many people, like so many people struggle with this one thing. Uh, and everyone has this one question that uh, how can I get shit done? How can I be more productive? How can I manage my time better? I know what I have to do, but I'm not able to do that. I, I want to work on this project, but I'm not able to do that. I have so much work. I don't have time for myself. I don't have time to work out. I don't have time for my family. I don't have time to sleep. I'm not sleeping as much as I want. I'm not watching movies. I'm not enjoying my life. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. And I'm all messed up, <laughs> you know? So a lot of people um, uh, face these issues. In fact, the cool thing is, uh, the interesting thing is that I've, I've been there a lot of times myself. So, uh, you know, especially being an entrepreneur, there are so many projects that you work on and then, uh, you know, you, you, you don't have anyone. I mean, you don't have a boss, right? You're not reporting to anybody. You are on your own when you're working as an entrepreneur. Uh, and because you have multiple projects, it, it gets very difficult to dedicate time to each one of them, right? And even if you're just working on one project, every project can have sub projects, you know, like even if you're just, uh, running, um, let, let's say, an e-commerce website. You're going to have sales. You're going to have the sales department. You're going to have the marketing department. And then as you scale, it gets very difficult to uh, do things. Now, one thing that you definitely do when you scale up is you build systems, you build processes, you hire a team. That's fine. But then even after that, there are a few things that no, that no one else can do. Only you can, right? And when it comes to choosing between what to do and what not to do, it gets really messy. It gets really complicated for entrepreneurs uh, to identify what should I be doing next, you know? Uh, so what do people do? Uh, people create to-do lists, right? Uh, people create to-do lists, uh, they, they buy productivity planners, they do, they do N number of things, but still they're not able to um, do things that they, tell, that they tell themselves they're gonna do. They create these, most people, like the most people that I've uh, spoken, uh, spoken with, uh, Mostly everyone, uh, you know, is an entrepreneur. What we do, I'm, a, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur myself for like what, for the last five years, full time. So I totally understand how terrible that is. So what we, most people do is that they would create this huge list or this huge to-do list. And then um, uh, maybe if, if they've written like 10 items, they would have only been able to do five items. And then they're going to piss on themselves and say, why wasn't I able to do the next, the, 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 the other 10, uh, the other 10, 10 tasks that I, the other five tasks that I had, I'm so sorry, the other five tasks that I had written for myself and then things get like really messy, you know, and then those five tasks are postponed and rescheduled for tomorrow. And then something new comes up and we're all over the place. Okay. Uh, and this is one complaint that everyone has, you know, what do I do? How do I do it? I don't know what, I don't know how to make it happen. Okay. So here's the thing guys. Uh, you guys need to understand, like all of you need to understand that success, it takes action. That's like a very simple thing, of course, uh, no matter what it is about, it could be, uh, you can, you can pick whatever area of life. Uh, I mean, it could be your relationship. Let's say you want to succeed in your relationship with your wife or with your parents or with a friend of yours. It could be anything, right? So, uh, success definitely, uh, takes, um, uh, you know, it, it it definitely takes work, right? So just give me a second. Let me just make some changes in this one. Yeah, here we go. So like I said, guys, so success definitely takes uh, some work, right? And you need to take action and you need to take high level action. If you don't take high level action here, I mean, if you do everything yourself, if you don't know what exactly you should do and when you should be doing that, you're going to be all over the place. And that's not a very good place to be at, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, and a lot of people are not able to understand this. A lot of people feel that if they want to, if they want to succeed, you know, if they want to make more money, if they want to scale their business, uh, if they want to get more things done, what they need is more time, but no time is limited. All of us have limited amount of time. Um, you know, all of us are 24 hours in a day. Then we have our families. We need to sleep. We need to work out. I mean, there are so many things, so, so many commitments that we have. So it's not a time problem. It's the, it's an action problem. It's an action planning problem. Okay. We don't plan things well. And because of that, we're not able to get uh, important things done. We, you know, uh, if, if you are someone who feels that, uh, you know, Nishkarsh, I work, uh, I, I work eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, but still I don't feel, I, I don't feel satisfied. I don't feel that I've done enough. You know, I, I miss a sense of satisfaction. If you are someone like that, trust me, it's not 
that you're not working don't piss on yourself it is a planning problem you are not planning well enough okay you're not planning well enough and because of that you're all over the place all right so um you want to understand that instead of focusing on all possible activities so instead of focusing on everything you know what you need to do is you want to focus on high level and high high income activities high impact activities you should always be doing high impact activities first now let's say you have 10 high impact activities for today how are you going to do that it's not possible all right so in this uh, in this show what we're going to talk about is i mean we're already talking about that what we're going to do in this show is i'm going to give you a step by step process on how you can plan uh, and how you can plan your high level activities and how you can get them done how can you ensure that you're not overburdening yourself uh, how you can ensure that you have really high productivity and how you can ensure that even if you're not able to do something when you thought you would do it how you can reschedule it or how can you plan it out without uh, you know without being um, uh, without pissing on yourself without being mad at yourself all right because don't be mad at yourself you know you're doing it for yourself treat yourself like your best friend okay so one thing is for sure that to do list i mean if you have tried creating creating to do list so many people try to do that they don't work i'll tell you why to do lists don't work because most people write what they need to do but then they don't really prioritize one and two they don't know how much time that thing is going to take and they don't know that in how much time do they want to be doing all of the things that they that they've written to do and and you know and when you don't prioritize you're gonna you, you're not you're not gonna have any idea that what should you do and when should you do it ladies and gentlemen because of that everyone is all over the place so what is the solution okay what is the solution so as a solution the solution is to do weekly planning okay so you want to plan your weeks beforehand now this is what i do you know i've been doing this for the last couple of months uh, and trust me i am very well managed and if i compare myself to what i was ha huh, to two months back three months back i have more time i'm able to dedicate time wherever i want you know i'm able to manage myself better and because i'm able to manage myself better i'm able to manage my businesses better i'm able to manage my relationships i'm able to manage my health i'm able to do everything that i want okay now one thing uh, one thing that you want to understand is that this is your life and you get to write the life that you want to live you get to choose the life that you, the life that you want to live right like you you took the decision of becoming an entrepreneur and of course it's not easy if it was easy everyone in the world would be doing that we as entrepreneurs are not doing the easy stuff our lives i, I mean for the world people might feel that you know they have all that we have all figured out but that's not not really the case you know even we have real world problems so the question is that how do we get shit done okay so this is what you want to do every sunday or every monday i would suggest sunday every sunday i want you to sit sit with yourself dedicate one hour to this and i want you to plan that what is it that you want to that you want to be doing in the next week in the next 7 uh, days the next 6 days okay so what i would do is i would ask myself these questions the first question is going to be what is that one thing that i want to do this week Uh, and if i do this one thing it's going to have a huge impact in whatever area of life it is i mean whatever area of life you you're focusing on right now so let's say just to give you an example let's say um i want to i want to create a webinar for my coaching business okay and i know that this week if i'm able to create my webinar it's it's going to have a very high impact on my business i would be able to generate more sales i would be able to convert leads into customers you know i would be able to make more money it's going to add more more cash on my bottom line right so that's a high level a high impact activity for me the second question is going to be what is the second most important thing you want to do this week i'm going to ask myself that question all right what is the second most important thing that i want to be doing this week i'm going to write it down and what is the third most important thing that i want to be doing this week we will just start with three high impact activities per week what people do wrong is they try to do five high impact or 10 high impact activities every single day and then they get messed up So what you want to do is you want to pick three high level high income activities or high impact activities now impact could be you know impact can be replaced with whatever you want like it could be high income it could be something that's about your health it could be something about your relationships whatever it is i'm going to call we're going to call them high impact activities okay so three high impact activities for the week now what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to start using a google calendar now uh, a uh, google calendar is one thing so i uh, for for so many years um you know when i used to see people using google calendars and i used to be like what the fuck you know why do you need a google calendar when you when you know what you want to do when you can have to do lists 
I know what projects I'm working on. I know the next step that I want to take. uh and only recently you know only recently i realized how important it is to actually have a calendar you know so when you create a calendar first what i want you to do is i want you to um you know uh, i want you to dedicate time for things that you love that's the first thing you start with forget about these three high impact activities right now i want you to dedicate things uh, dedicate time to things that you really love doing things that are really are really needed for yourself like i'll give you some examples dedicate time to sleep so if you check my google calendar from let's say 12 am or 1 am and the, uh, the next 8 hours i'm going to be sleeping so i have a time slot in there which says sleep all right after waking up i have the first one and a half to 2 hours with myself you know i'm going to i'm going to have breakfast i'm going to bathe i'm going to meditate i'm going to self reflect uh, self uh, reflect i have a time slot for that as well and remember uh between any two activities have a 15 minute gap so there there, there should be this empty space with, uh, with uh, of 15 minutes so that you know you you can be cool and you have buffer time to switch from task um, i mean from task to task okay so uh then i'm going to have uh you know in in the morning i'm going to have my me time you know where i i bathe i have breakfast and i meditate or whatever it is it could be exercise for you right and then in the evening slot from let's say 5:30 pm to 6 pm or 6 pm to 6:30 pm i'm going to have a time slot which is dedicated to going for a jog okay in the night i i'm talking about myself and i just disconnect this in the night from uh, 9 15 pm to 9 45 pm i have time dedicated uh, with my family wherein <clears throat> wherein i'm going to have dinner i'm going to spend some time with them i'm going to have a conversation with my family members and then from 10 pm to let's say the next one hour the next two hours i have dedicated for my better half to have a conversation with her maybe to meet her anything like that or maybe get on a call with her you know so i have a uh, time dedicated for that and then in the night 1 am i'm going to sleep again i have a one hour slot between that uh, so that i can do whatever i want in there you know uh, so these are the basic things that you need if you don't a lot of times uh, we go all over the place is because we're not able to sleep well we're not able to work out we're not able to dedicate time to our families and that's that's what we want all of us want this no matter how much we try to ignore it how, no matter how much try to we we how much we try to run away from them uh, away from these these things that are so so important we need them we we want them you know we are human beings we need love we need appreciation and we want to love people as well especially people who matter a lot to us and we need we need there is a dire need in ourselves to take care of ourselves as well okay once you're done dedicating time for this you could also dedicate time for things that you absolutely love i'll tell you the biggest reason uh, people are not able to be productive the biggest reason people are not able to do things that they want to do but they're still not able to do it is because they're usually doing something else uh, at that point of time let me give an example so let's say i thought that today i'm going to be working on my webinar just to give you an example but i did not work on my webinar okay and i'm going really pissed off and then i ask myself this question okay what was i doing at that point of time i scheduled a uh, time to work on my webinar i was not doing that what was i doing i get to know i was binging on social media at that point of time totally natural i do it so many people do it right it's totally okay or let's say i was uh, i was on a call with my girlfriend or uh, i was having something or i went for a walk anything or i was watching netflix or um, i was listening to music or i was sleeping it could be anything so whatever that one thing is if you are doing that thing instead of what you plan it means you want to dedicate time to this thing first that one thing that you usually do when you're not doing the things that you that you think you should be doing that you think that you need to do you want to do but then you're not doing it and rather you're doing something else that something else is what needs priority and time from you first okay so this is exactly how my calendar looks like in my calendar i have time dedicated for my social media binging okay I have time dedicated to speak to my girlfriend. I have time dedicated for my family, for my health, for sleep as well. I have time dedicated for all of these things because these are those things that I know about myself. And you know, your calendar is going to be a piece of art. It's not going to be very one D. It's not going to be a uh, very, I would say, manual and really, uh, you know, something. It's not going to be mechanical, quite honestly. So it's a piece of art. Uh, create a calendar and add everything that you. love doing uh, create your calendar like a best friend so has this one mistake that that i made i used to add tons of uh, uh, you know work tons of uh, work related activities on a daily basis and i was uh, i was fucked up 
because i had i had i did not dedicate any time for myself for self care for my family for whatever it is things that are important to me i did not do that and then i was like what the fuck now even i'm using a calendar i'm working really well but still i'm not able to get shit done still i'm not feeling satisfied even if i'm able to get more done i'm i don't i lack a se- uh, i lack a sense of uh, self satisfaction so this is uh, when i realize okay f- why fine you know i need to dedicate time to things that i love doing all right so step one create a calendar and dedicate and create time slots for things that you love doing you know and it's you know if you dedicate 9 pm to 10 pm to watch a movie and if you're not able to do that no problem let's say you're able to, uh, you're able to do it at 10 no problem please do it it's totally fine it's your calendar it's your life don't go very hard on it don't go too hard on it this is your calendar uh, a lot of people confuse uh, their calendar with let's say some, some that they they think that they're being limited you know your calendar is freedom you get to decide the life that you want to live through action planning ladies and gentlemen so action plan what you want to do okay so step 1 i'm going to add everything that i want to do that i need to do that i love to do i'm going to add all of that in my calendar then i'm going to go back to my top 3 high high level impact high impact activity list and i'm going to schedule them remember i'm going to do only one high impact activity a day i'm not going to do two high impact activities a day all right and the minimum time that you want to dedicate to any activity even if it's like even if it's going to take you like 2 minutes i want you to dedicate at least 15 to 30 minutes sorry at least 30 minutes to it at least 30 minutes so that you have buffer a lot of time that has this major mistake that i've made that let's say from 1 pm to 2 pm i'm going to be doing this and from 2 pm to 3 pm i'm going to be doing this no never do that have buffer space for yourself if you feel something is going to take you 45 minutes dedicate a uh, 60 minutes to that and then give a 15 minute break it's going to be totally empty so that you can go to the washroom go to the loo have water get on a call so that you have buffer space in the in the in between as well as well and then after 15 minutes i'm going to do this after 15 minutes i'm going to do this whatever it is and you could also have two to three hours of buffer maybe you're expecting a call maybe you're expecting to go out somewhere like this is what happened uh, with me today so i knew that today i will have to do something personal i have to go to a government office and get some stuff done so today i had this four hour slot which was empty in my calendar and i had no idea that at what time i want to go there but i knew that yeah it's going to be between this time slot so i kept myself free okay so this is pretty much how you do it all right and even if sometimes you dedicate time for something not able to do it it's okay it's totally fine except that you know you were not able to do it no problem we should do it all right we should do it but we should do it should not be done over and over again we should do it once and then let's say i was not able to do it at 3 no problem i'm i'm going to do it at 4 because i have an empty space there if not today no problem i'm going to do it tomorrow i have an empty empty space there all right so what you want to do is then i would pick my three high impact activities and i'm going to schedule them in my calendar all right so let's say on monday i'm going to work on my webinar uh, and from from 2 pm to 4 pm webinar time all right on wednesday let's say uh, i'm going to work on my on my website on friday i'm going to work on uh, the nishkar sharma show whatever it is you know dedicate time for it uh, i mean dedicate time for these three high level impact activities or that's it don't try to do a lot of high impact activities and of course you know uh, if you're an entrepreneur there are so many things uh, we as entrepreneurs there are so many things that we have to do on a daily basis things like it could be related to accounting it could be related to finance it could be related to basic marketing that we do like um, in my coaching business in in in, in our education business every single day in the evening i have to dedicate time i have to dedicate time to serve my community to uh, to to check my uh, to check our facebook groups to check my social media channels i have to dedicate time for that almost uh, every single day from monday to friday okay uh, so dedicate time for all these activities that you know that you're going to do that you will have to do and if you feel after that that i'm left with no time you know this brings me to the to the next point if you feel that you totally packed and you are still not able to do what you want to do uh you want to ask yourself can i delegate any one of these things you know can i delegate can i hire someone can i hire a virtual assistant can i hire an intern can i hire an employee can i hire a- an agency and outsource it so that i get more time and so that i get more time to do what i want to do okay the beauty of having a calendar is that you're going to know exactly what you want to be doing next week you're not going to be limited uh with anything i mean you're not going to be limited with time um once you i mean you you get to plan what you want to do in the next 7 days and that's and at the end of the week you're going to feel a lot more satisfied uh you're going to feel a lot more productive because now you've done what you planned you want to do 
right? You are not blindlessly creating a to-do list and then not working on it. You're not blindlessly doing that. So uh, this is exactly how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Step one, create a calendar. All right. Step two, dedicate time. Dedicate these time slots for things that you love. These are the things that you absolutely love doing. These are the things that you regret not doing on a daily basis. Dedicate time for them. It could be it could be anything. You you love watching porn. Dedicate time to watch porn. Not a problem. Whatever it is, you know, pr- provided you feel that it's good and you and you like doing it, it it, it uh, gives you a sense of satisfaction. It makes you happy. Do it. Whatever it is, you know, whatever the fuck it is, dedicate time for it. All right. Step three. Ask yourself, what are the three top high level impact activities I want to be doing this week? Step four, dedicate time for these high level impact activities in this week. Dedicate time for that. All right. Next, I want you to keep buffer times between all the activities you're going to be doing. All right. And of course, when you're going to be dedicating time uh, to things that you love, you also need to dedicate time uh, to things that you do on a daily basis. Right. Like I I said to you, you know, whatever it is that maybe every single morning you have to um, you have to drop your wife to her office or let's say you need, you need you need to drop your kids to the school whatever it is you know something that you know you're going to be doing on a daily basis but once your calendar is in front of you you have it you have it synced on your phone uh you know you would be able to see that okay this is how my day looks like now when someone calls you and someone says that hey you know uh i want i want to speak to you about this you can tell this person that hey you know uh can we speak at this point of time can we speak at 5 p.m why because you know that from 5 p.m to 5 30 p.m you're free and you've kept that time slot for things like these that show up that pop up un, unexpected and you can dedicate time for that that's it that's how you want to do it ladies and gentlemen all right so uh, have a calendar follow the steps you're going to be more productive you would be able to manage your time better like these are the positives you know i mean this is what you're going to get you're going to be more productive you're going to be able to manage your time better you would be able to live the life you want you would be able to dedicate time to things that you absolutely love doing you know and you're not going to be pissing on yourself all right so uh, have a calendar uh, i would i would recommend you to uh, do action planning every sunday okay and that's it now you will reach a point two things one you will reach a point wherein you dedicate time for something but you would realize that uh, i mean maybe you were not able to get to it don't don't be mad at yourself for it it's totally okay except uh, that it was a breakdown except that okay fine i was not able to do it reschedule recommit okay recommit and reschedule that's it recommit and reschedule uh, if you feel that i was not able to get this done two it's going to take you some time to create a perfect calendar for yourself uh, if you try and create a calendar on sunday uh, it's not i mean there is no guarantee that uh, that's going to be a perfect calendar and that's going to be a perfect schedule no it took me two months uh, to have a calendar in place wherein you know i know that i have these basic things that i'm going to do every single week no matter what like i have a time dedicated for my family my girlfriend my my sleep my uh, meditation getting fresh uh, doing things that i love you know working out all of that that's already fixed that's already fixed in my calendar i'm not going to change that and then i have time dedicated for everything else like there are there are some uh, activities related to work like i want to i want to go live on my instagram for my community or i want to do a q and a with my facebook group so i have time dedicated for that every single week uh, from from one point of time i mean let's say from 8:15 to 8:45 i know that today i need to do an instagram live i have time dedicated for that right so every, every single week i have time for that if in case i feel that okay i would not be able to do it at this time no problem i can reschedule it and then let my community know in advance right but uh, when i when you have everything planned out you can reschedule because you know you got you're going to be on the top of things uh, you're not going to be uh, all confused about okay fine i'm going to do this i'm going to do that you know a lot of people pleasers they they face this issue let's say they want to please the four people four of their friends they make commitments and then they're like what the fuck i'm not able to work on that what, what the fuck do i do so this is how you do it have control over your week have control over the actions that you're going to be taking that's it you're going to have a lot more satisfaction you're going to have a lot more happiness you would be able to do the things that you love all right and then every single week every sunday and you know you can also do this on a daily basis maybe you created your calendar for monday and you realize no 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 i shouldn't have done it like this no problem next uh, change make changes to your calendar next monday or you, you can also do it for today and then you know that next monday i need to make some changes there so in advance create a calendar for monday now let's say um, you, you you planned your tuesday on sunday okay 
you plan your entire week on sunday by the way the, the sunday before that the sunday before the week so now let's say I, i'm i'm on tuesday and i realized that i dedicated 30 i dedicated uh, one hour to drop my brother to his office let's say but it only it only took me 30 or 15 minutes so instead of dedicating one hour to that i'm going to reduce that time to 30 minutes or 45 minutes whatever whatever it is and i'm going to do that next week as well right now i mean so seven days from now i'm going to to make make the change as well all right and then when you're going to come to next week maybe you're going to realize something new you know maybe you can realize okay uh, i can i can i can shift this thing uh, to to tuesday or i can reduce the time or i need more time for this maybe you dedicated one hour to do a show you know to do a podcast and you realize that one hour is very less i need at least two hours to plan as well so no problem from next week i'm going to i'm going to give it two hours that's it so creating your calendar working on your calendar and thinking about your high level impact activities that's going to be like a piece of art and enjoy the process instead of um, become oh, so sorry for that instead of becoming a slave of it you know instead of letting it enslave you i would recommend you to um, fall in love with it you i mean your calendar is freedom ladies and gentlemen you are going to have the opportunity to do whatever you want whenever you want it uh, to do the things that you love live the life that you want in your on terms ladies and gentlemen so this is the art of getting shit done having more control over your life being more productive doing things that you love being happy fulfilled and satisfied okay uh, let me know in the comments how did you like today's show uh, the art of getting getting shit done do let me know in the comments below